let me just bring you a brief of what, uh, because that's also central, a brief of what uh, Professor uh, Dako Ankara of the University of Ghana, who is a historian and a researcher, had to say to Kujakoto Boating of um, CTFM. And he said that, quote, the Gold Coast intelligentsia, the Gold Coast elites, as well as the farmers, the ordinary people, it is their money that established University of Ghana, especially the cocoa farmers. And they need to be congratulated. But when we talk about individual efforts, first and foremost, we need to put historical chronology and see who the primus inter pares is in all these debates, in all these debates is. You, you will realize that many people made arguments. The arguments they made from 1861. So that's a long way before uh, J.B. Danquist uh, and the, his group intervention. 1861, up to, 19, up to the 1940s, these people wrote it down. The colonial government did not budge. But in 1943, they formed the Elliott Commission. And it is the Elliott Commission that then, you know, led the various processes to what we see today. And he says, persons such as Akokosa, Nene Azumante Kole, Otunfo Se Ose Ajiman Prempe, and J.B. Dankwa definitely did a good job. Um, Mr. Abuja, what do you say? People say the president's consistency since he became president in speaking to history that elevates J.B. Dankwa gives them cause for worry that what is being speculated is true, that he's sowing the seed, preparing the minds of the people for that eventual thing. And that even elevated beyond naming a university after his uncle or the grand uncle, yeah. that the debate about the founding of Ghana, you remember, as the NDC tradition and the CPP tradition and also the NPP disagree on all of these matters, clearly suggests that the president <coughs> has a motive. Well, uh, good morning to uh, your cherished viewers. And it's uh, my first time on the, the show, so I want to take the opportunity to thank the multimedia group for giving me the opportunity to share this platform. You're welcome, sir. Um, I think there's uh, history to this. Um, I quite told the line of uh, Kweku on this. There's no doubt about the historical fact as to how uh, the University of Ghana was uh, or came to be as, as our premier university. I think the history is quite uh, clear. Uh, however, there, there's this trend that is, can be seen, if you want to see it, in the, in the posture of the president since he became our president uh, in January uh, 2017. Uh, he jumped into the argument as to even how Ghana was founded. And you know the reactions to, to that. It, it's as if the president is, is determined to claim an unclaimed territory of his family history, as if there was, there was an injustice done to his family in the past, that now that he's become the president, it is his duty to reclaim that territory for, for, for his family. Um, I, I, I must uh, say, I read a bit of uh, what Honorable Ablakwa said in the uh, title, The True Documented Authoritative History of the uh, University of Ghana, which he also killed from uh, a history book he talked about. And to dovetail into what uh, Kweku said, this, uh, as you even said, this journey didn't start even in the life of, uh, even, I mean, it started probably before uh, Dr. J, uh, uh, J.B. Dankwa was born in the 1800s. Uh, these discussions were going on, and like you said, documented. It is quite difficult for anyone to understand. If you read what uh, uh, the, the, uh, the book commissioned by the, the former vice chancellor, Professor George Bene, um, in, in anticipation of the, the, the anniversary, one of the anniversaries of the university. And uh, a section of that talked about how uh, Professor Agbodeka recounted Dr. J. B. Dankwa's contribution towards the funding. He didn't say funded. We know 
I mean, we sitting around this table are aware of how some universities were founded, at least within our lifetime. You need to have the commitment. You need to do some legislation. You need to do some funding. And you need to actually build it. Um, if Dr. Dan J.B. Dankwa was mentioned as people who contributed towards funding, and in this case, we have already been told the real money came from Cocoa Farmers. So it's not like he donated money. As a member of parliament or as a, a top politician, he probably persuaded, as, 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 as one of those people who persuaded farmers to agree that Cocoa money should be used. But at the end of the day, the debate as to how it got actually built and where it was built took a lot of people. I, I've read a text that suggested that even the first time it was mentioned in parliament, he was the third or so to speak on the matter. So he didn't even introduce the discussion in parliament. So it is quite difficult to understand what the president wanted to achieve. But those who wanted to say, or who want to say, and I'm part of those, that the president is setting the pace. What the clip you, uh, you, you, you played, you heard him say that during the 70th anniversary, he's proposing something that it would be right for set something to take place. He didn't actually define what should take place. And he's already taken the step. And this step includes renaming of UPSA. I have no doubt about that. I mean, somebody uh, founded uh, UPSA and then government absorbed it or whatever it is. Uh, I, I think it's, it's, uh, it's appropriate. That has been explained. He didn't, he uh, didn't uh, rename UPSA. Uh, uh, exactly, because it, it started before 1990, uh, mm -hmm. 2000, uh, uh, I mean, long before. The, the mm -hmm. thing was that he just completed. The, 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 the WA Technical University to be named after uh, Dr. Uh, Liman, I, I don't see much, though probably Dr. Liman didn't, it's no more here with us, but it was, I mean, also our president. Uh, you might have been named after uh, George uh, uh, Pagran, uh, like uh, he said. Mm -hmm. Those were people who you can trace to certain things uh, 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 significant in this country. You will notice that even naming uh, War Technical University may not be because uh, that Dr. Liman actually did anything about it. Maybe, I don't know, but maybe the history of how it became a technical school before polytechnic, maybe he, he, he played a role. So let us be careful here. Indeed, somebody will say the president didn't say it, but the telltale signs are there. The man attempted even to rewrite the history of this country, which was heavily shut down by the, the, the people who keep a record of history in this country. He's attempting it on the University of Ghana. I say the president attempts to even double in this argument is completely needless. University of Ghana it requires more attention in other areas, including infrastructure and many, many things than who, what's the, the name of it. The name of University of Ghana currently, it's okay. Let's do what we can do to make it even better. The name change is completely a needless argument, and I don't think it's, it's worth it. I am one of those people who would also say that the president shouldn't dare. We don't need it. University of Ghana needs help, not okay. name change. You, you see... I had referred to something earlier. If you go to the University of Ghana website, and yeah. I'm right there, yeah. if you go to the portion on the establishment of the university, yeah. they, they speak about the genesis, and they don't mention any other <laughs> but yeah. J.B. Dankwa. That's what is there. So why are we hurt by what the president has said, but not <coughs> what the university itself had done even before the president became president. There is this portion of it. They refer to the Elliott Commission uh, that published the majority report, which recommended the establishment of university colleges in the Gold Coast. Uh, that, was in, that is Ghana and Nigeria. And a minority report, which held that only one university college for the whole of British West Africa <coughs> was feasible. The British government at first accepted the min minority report of the Elliott Commission and decided that a university college for the whole of West Africa should be established in Ibadan in Nigeria. But the people of the Gold Coast could not accept this recommendation. Led by the scholar and politician, the late Dr. J.B. Dankwa, they argued or they urged the Gold Coast government to inform the British government that the Gold Coast could support a university college. The British government accordingly reviewed its decision and agreed to the establishment of the university college of the Gold Coast. Why are we not worried about that, this? That was what? exaggeration and exclusion. This was also an exaggeration and exclusion. And exclusion. 
That's what it was. We so tell our history sometimes in a very unilateral way. We don't tell the full story. Mm. Sometimes when the issues come up, then we are all able to go and gather all the things and put together. Okay. I think that here... So the University of Ghana itself has been wrong. to exaggeration and exclusion. Exaggeration yeah, and exclusion. Well, ju just to take... Uh, my, my good friend here does represent Attorney General sometimes mm. in, on when we're doing some deals. When you say he led, nobody tells us what is the meaning, the definition of he led. So does that mean that Honorable Kwenka, representing the Attorney General, to lead government to uh, pursue, I mean, to de deal with a bill in Parliament? So he become, he is the one who led the bill. For example, you refer to him being the second or third yes. to speak to the matter when he came up in Parliament. Yes. Now, when you read, the suggestion is that when he got up, they were talking about the minor, ma is it the minority, minority report? Yes, yes. Then he, when he got up, he spoke about the majority report, ha, re recommending one in Nigeria and one in Ghana, which ought to be pursued, rather than the minority report recommending for one only for the British West Africa to be state, to be situated in Nigeria. That's true. So, so the case. So is his intervention was was, was critical. Was good. Yes. Yes. yes we, we we accept that. So does that mean that mean that in Parliament? If I make a critical intervention on a bill, I become uh, that bill can be attributed to uh, to me. No, the, the thing is, you well, are, well, the persuasive, the the no, persuasiveness. You, you said it's, it's about in parliamentary how, debate. The yes, persuasiveness of your you advocacy yes, how did you could have an effect. The University of one. Ghana come to be, and you said it, the process started since then, 1800. It is not possible to make doctor. Uh, in fact, the, 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 like uh, uh, Kweku said, the history is quite clear. There were many people, chiefs. If, in fact, do you know the single comment by Asantini that time to fight over this could have stopped it? Because at the time, much of the cocoa production was within his territory. He could have said that when the money is coming from here, come and build it here. He could have scuttled the whole, whole thing. So the number of people who actually founded University of Ghana, I believe in the, the, the fact that if it's about money, it's cocoa uh, farmers' money. If it's about the debate, it's about a debate that was started by the people of Ghana. Let, in fact, I, I, I even got, got, got to, inf uh, I mean, my, my views reinforce that University of Ghana is the best name to have this. In any case, how is, is any name bigger than Ghana? If you say KNUST, change to Kwame Nkrumah University, it's just a, uh, uh, I'm mean, saying uh, USC, change to Kwame Nkrumah University, uh, uh, WAP, uh, uh, Technical University, but to re remove Ghana, and put somebody's name. Uh, it's as if you are saying the person is bigger. Mm. But, Look, but as Koku said, that is the speculative point that we are on because we, d we, we do not know for a fact. There have not been any statements made to the effect that the president wants the University of Ghana to be renamed. What, what was he his, talking about on the 70th anniversary? What there. was he talking about when he says on the 70th anniversary? Mm. What, what was he going to be? Okay. All right. <laughs>